So today I'm going to be using this pretty marble chunky yarn by uh, James C. Brett. Um, I believe this is called a bulky weight in the US if you're from there and I'm going to be using a six millimeter hook for my blanket. Now you can use any yarn that you like as long as you use the uh, hook size that's recommended on your yarn ball band. So for this blanket I'm using a nice thick chunky yarn which will work up really quickly meaning that you can make a, a small lap sized blanket in uh, as little as a weekend. So let's get started. Okay to start we need to first make a slip knot so you just make a loop with your yarn like so then your long end you will fold into the middle of that loop and then pull that loop through and put that onto your hook like so and then we're going to chain four so we put the yarn over and then we pull that through our chain so that's one yarn over pull through the chain it's two three and four now we want to join those chains into a circle to make a ring so we're going to put our hook into the first chain we will yarn over and pull that loop through and then we'll pull that loop through the chain on the hook as well that's called a slip stitch so if you give this little end a little bit of a tug it tightens that hole up a little bit for you Okay, so now we want to chain three. One, two, and three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're now going to start putting our crochet stitches into the ring. So we want to put two double crochet into that ring. So we yarn over, hook goes into the ring, we pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, so that's one double crochet. So we want one more double crochet, yarn over, hook goes into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So this is our first group of three double crochets into the ring. So now we're going to chain two, one, two, and now we need to do another group of three double crochet into the ring. One, two, and three. So as you can see, we've started to form our square here. So where we've did the chain two, this is where we form our square. So now we need to do our, our next corner. So we chain two, and then another three double crochet into the ring. One. and three so now we want to do our next corner so we chain two and now we're going to have our last group of three double crochet into the ring one two and three so then we chain two and now we're going to join the top of that chain three so that chain three counts as our first double crochet so we put our hook into the top of the chain three and then we make a slip stitch so we yarn over pull through both of those loops and then we have the beginning of our granny square so we're ready for round two so first we're going to turn our work and we're going to start working into this corner here so first we want to slip stitch into that corner, like so, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're going to put two more double crochet into that corner space. One, and two. Then we're going to chain two, 
And now we're going to put three double crochets into that same space. One. Two. And three. And there we have our first corner made. Now you can see for this round we're going to work into each of these corner spaces and we're going to do the same stitches into each corner. So it's going to be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into this space and we're going to do the same into each of those spaces. So I will meet you back at the end of the round. So here we are at the end of the round. We're going to finish that round off by putting a slip stitch into the top of our chain three like so. And now we're ready to start round three. So we turn our work and then we're going to slip stitch into that space that we're currently at. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This counts as our first double crochet. We're going to put two more double crochet into that same space. One. And two. And now we're going to start working into the next space, which is a corner. So in the corners, we're always going to be working three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, and three more double crochet. So that's our corner made. So now we're working along the sides of the square. So now we have a space in the centre of the square. We're going to put three double crochet into that space. One, two, and three. And now we're at, at our next corner. So it's going to be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into that next corner. So each time you get to a space in the middle of the square, you put three double crochet. Each time you get to a corner, it's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I will finish off this round and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so we're now at the end of the round and we're going to finish that off by putting a slip stitch into the top of our chain three. Like so. Am I ready to start the next round? So from now on, we're just going to repeat round three until our blanket is as big as we would like it to be. So we will turn our work, we will slip stitch into that space, chain three for our first double crochet, and then put two more double crochet into that space, like so. Our next space is a corner, so we will have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and then we will work. This time we have two spaces along the sides, so we'll put three double crochet into each space, and then work the next corner. And we keep doing that until the blanket is as big as you would like it to be. Okay, so at some point um, making your blanket, you're going to need to change your yarn, whether it's because you want to change a different colour, or if you've run out and you need to join in a new ball. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those now. So here you can see I have run out of this particular ball and we're ready to join in our next ball of yarn. So it doesn't matter where you are in your blanket, as long as you keep a good sized tail. So first of all, we're going to start to work our next double crochet. As you can see, we've just worked a corner, corner here and our next step is to put three double crochets into the next space. So we're going to start to work our next double crochet. So yarn over, hook goes in the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So we're going to stop there. This is where we're going to join in our new ball of yarn. So we let go of that strand of yarn and we pick up the next ball that we're going to join and we'll finish off that double crochet stitch by yarning over and pulling through those last two loops and there you have a finished double crochet, crochet stitch. So I like to then tie these two ends. It's up to you whether you want to tie them or not. I know some people um, don't like having knots in the work 
I never tie knots in my knitting but I don't mind having knots in the crochet because they always seem to go to the back of the work and they're not anywhere near as noticeable. Um, so these tails will need to be woven in at the end. So then you're just going to carry on putting two more double crochets into that space. So there's one. And there you go, you've joined in a new ball of yarn. Okay, so say you want to change colour, you're making a, a, a blanket with different stripes in. Uh, you need to finish off a whole round and fasten off your yarn. And then with your new colour, you can join, it doesn't really matter where I've actually joined, I like to join along the sides just before a corner. So you will pull your new colour through and then you will chain three. One, two, three. This counts as your first double crochet. You then want to put two more double crochet into that space. Oops. One. And two. And then you just carry on as normal. So the next um, space is a corner space, so you'll put two, three double crochet chain two, three double crochet, and then continue working around your blanket. So there you go, you can either change colour or add in a new ball of yarn. And I'll meet you back once we're ready to add on the border to our blanket. Okay, so once you've added as many rounds as you would like to, and your blanket is as big as you want it to be, we are now ready to add a very simple single crochet border to our blanket. And so we will chain one, and then single crochet into the same stitch. So a hook goes into the stitch, we pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And single crochet into the next stitch, so a hook goes through the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And so we're going to continue working single crochets all the way across the edge of our blanket until we get to the corner space. Okay, so here we are at our first corner. So now we're going to be working into this corner space. So we're going to single crochet into that space and then two more single crochet into the same space. So that's three in total, like so. And then we're going to continue to work single crochet stitches all the way across the next side of the blanket. Like so. So you'll single crochet in every stitch across until you get to the next corner. In the corner space, you will add three single crochets. So you'll do this in each corner. So single crochet into every stitch along each side and three single crochet into each corner. And once you get to the end, you will join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round. We have joined with a slip stitch into our first single crochet. And all that's left now is to fasten off. Make sure you fasten off securely. I don't want uh, any unraveling to happen. And then all you need to do now is just sew in your tail and then attach your lovely big poofy tassels to the corners of your blanket. The tassel tutorial is linked in the description box below and that will show you exactly how to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe it really helps my channel to grow and I will see you all again very soon with more videos like this. Take care now. Bye-bye.